Hello everybody, welcome back to Very Noisy Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition Everybody's talking at once it would seem Right, so in last episode we put a lot of the groundwork down for what we need to do in this town which is basically turn the orcs against the humans and make them fight each other So well, I think we've already started a, a few quests in that line Yeah, War of the Stones the Hunting Hunter's Edge, uh, the Back Alley Trader, the Armoury Key, and the Starcross Lovers. So, we need to speak to the Jarl and find out why he wanted to speak to us. And we'll grab those while we're here. Where is he? There he is. May your sword never sully and your shield never shatter. Let's discuss the missing bloodstones. The bloodstones are the reason we came here in the first place. The conduit has need of star stones imbued with human blood so she can create her death knights. Both the Brotherhood and the Orcs were given their share of stones and we filled them to the brim with blood, then stored them for the conduit to collect when she returns from Phantom Forest. Last night, though, someone raided this very building and disappeared with our stones. They were being guarded by Garrick Giantbane, a son of the mountain I'd entrust with my life. Grutilda says he ran off with the Bloodstones, that he is a betrayer to the cause of Immaculate. But I know this to be untrue. The Orcs stole the stones. Of that I'm certain. Grutilda is hatching some plan, and we'll all be in dire straits indeed if it comes to fruition. Those stones make her powerful. Too powerful. We need them back, but every orc eyes us peak dwellers with suspicion. That is why I ask of you to find proof. Proof that it was an orc that did the deed. Once I have it, I have a reason to assault the orcs without risking the wrath of the conduit. She'll not stand for theft among immaculates. So find me that proof, and we'll slaughter the orcs together. Uh, well, I know who you are, about the orcs, about the wizard. Let's try that. Let's have another round before I get too drunk to Sorry about the, the wizard car. you mentioned. I don't know much about him, to be frank, and I don't care to. The conduit says he's in possession of an artifact she needs, which is why we've been trying to gain entry to his house. But by the boots of our lag troll tramper, the key hasn't been forged yet that will unfasten the magical seals that encase that bedeviled sorcerer's abode. And the servants? The deal is this. When we attacked Hunter's Edge, we and the Orcs had the village completely surrounded to ensure no one could escape. The plan was a good one, for only some blacksmith and his wife managed to flee after their little demon of a pet bit an Orc's arm off. <laughs> <laughs> the wizard and his servants eluded us, but we know that the servants at least are still hiding somewhere around town. We need to find those damn people so they can tell us how to gain entry to the wizard's house. My men have been searching the village non-stop, and the orcs have put their rat herder on the job. But we also have some surviving villagers holed up down in the cellar. An orc torturer, courtesy of Glutilda, has been trying to find out where the servants are hiding, but has no finesse whatsoever, and almost instantly kills his victims. We've offered to do it for him, but Gratilda remains adamant he's the best of the best. Maybe you'd have better luck, though, if you're up for a spot of torture. Alrighty then. Again. This wizard must be Xandalor. <laughs> Thankfully, <laughs> these bloodthirsty brutes haven't found him yet. Let's, have let's hope we catch up with him before they do. do. Yes, let's hope so. Right, all these people talking at one point. Hunter's Edge, right, okay, we need to go down to the torture chamber. And see what we can find out down there. War of the Stones, we need to find out where the missing stones are. Okay. And we also need to sort out this rat catcher. So, have I. I've got two pieces of cheese. I've got four poison cheese. Right, okay. Many rats Where it is Alright. Alright, let's split that. Oh, go screw yourselves with a rusty mace, why don't you? 
Drop item. Cat who asked me to kill as many rats as I could find. Village, but I'll ask the question anyway. What are you doing in this village? I, responsible for the welfare of each of my subjects, secure the wealth and glory of our kingdom by contracting certain occupations through which we obtain security, honor, and above all, cheese. A certain orc, the one who so erroneously calls himself Rat Catcher, has won our employment. He tells us what to find, and in exchange for a generous will of Gorgonver or Gouda, we oblige. I've nearly closed in on this particular target, a trio of stinking humans who I believe to be cowering in their cellar. But I've lost too many men to this bloodthirsty feline. I won't send more troops into the unknown until the beast is caught. Oh, okay, I'll set my leave. Cellar, if you desire a second consultation, oh, the smell of whiskey in there does so delight a king's senses. Alrighty then. Right, well, I think we'll do that first since we're right near it. We will head in there to the cellar, which is here, I believe. Right. Let's check all these. We'll sort that out in a moment. Get these. Ooh, 313. Lucky find. Medora. Take that for selling. Painting of a man. Small poison bottle. Why have I taken that? That should go to Medora. You fool, Nick. You fool. Oh. What's the stuff? Shears. Don't need that. Don't need that. Take that though. Oh, 
What the hell? Might as well take it. Uh, which reminds me. Oh, we've yet to start this quest, haven't we? The whiskey quest, right. Did I get the book when I came down here? Alright, do you know? Maybe not. We'll have to check that. I know there's a quest to make whiskey, so as I was discussing in the last episode, we need to find that. Arrowhead, Medora. Whoa, 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 no, I just remembered. That burning on the floor signifies that it's going to explode. Uh, right, we'll come back to that uh, later. Oh, take the spuds. And the wheat. Right, let's go and steal all this stuff. Iron Maiden. <clears throat> now we don't like that, so we're going to get rid of it. Come on. One more. One more. Don't like Iron Maidens, so we'll kill that. Uh, get back on him again. Pouch. Gold. Gold. All this lovely loot. Can't identify what? Alright, let's take that then. Oh, right, okay, I was short on the old lore master. We've got anything else with it on? Ring with lore master. Right, that should help. There we go. Two dexterity, plexmithing, and lock picking. Uh, really, that should go to Medora. Got nobody using bow, so that's absolutely no use whatsoever. That can go to Medora. Likewise. That can as well to be upgraded. Scarlet. Alright. Let's see what else we've got here then. Hope this isn't all going to put me overweight into the deep. Grutilda's not going to be happy about losing all this stuff at all. Right, let's not disturb her and go out the front door. Let's go out this way. There we go. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! What 
did we get there? Anything decent? What's selling? That looks pretty pathetic, but we'll send it to him anyway, just have a look. 168, 190, that might be closer, let's have a look. No, it's nowhere near really, is it? 43, oh yeah, we'll, we'll equip that. That. Strength 8, let's send that to Wargraf just in case. But he can't, no, strength 8, doesn't it? No good, Roderick. One, two, five, no, Roderick. Right, let's just exit this. Did someone leave an oven door open? Oh, damn it, no, 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 I want to go back in. I nearly forgot then the reason we we're coming down here was to speak to the rat again. Because we're not going to get rid of the cat that's protecting the villagers. Because the rats will send Grutilda to kill the villagers. So we want to save those. So we need to sort out the Rat King. Hello Rat King. And... here we go. Fingers crossed guys. I'll tell you what, let's put a little save in there first, shall we? Great, five enemies, what? Um. Hmm. Where can we get this? Oh, it gets all those, but it gets... Oh, look at that, it gets... Me as well, though. Oh, what the hell. Immune to burning. Great. to have to which one's that that first night let's try that charm failed great attack up I can infuse you with power that gets them all apart from one that'll do one dead. Ricochet. Wow. Yeah, move forward a little bit. There we go. We'll wind. Let's dance to death. It's two down. Triple failed. To throw a heel onto uh, Wolgraf, stop anything happening there. What we're using earth damage. Let's try that. Ah, oh, you're dead. Truly, I need healing. Um. Yep. Yeah, let's throw that down. Gets us all. attack. Oh, 
Oh, come back, Medora. Right, what have you got? What have you got that we can use? Could do with something AOE-ish. About Thunder Jump. I stole one of them. Try and freeze the War Chief. Freezing failed? Yeah, of course it did. Why would it not fail in this game? <laughs> as good as a new penny. Right, okay. Uh, right, we need something down to stop these. There we go. Resurrect Revenant! Nothing left. Ooh, whoa, 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 oh, don't do. That's the first death in a long, long time. Lost Roderick. Right. War Chief. Nope. You don't have a leg to stand on. Immune to knockdown. Okay then, this is something we've not used before. <laughs> before, where's the resurrection scroll? Uh, do we have one? Don't tell me she doesn't have one. Well, <laughs> oh dear, 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 Nick, you are really not doing well in this fight. Uh, right, okay then. Looks like he's game rest afterwards. It's done me and them. Wow. Ooh. I am restored. Have you got any resurrect schools? Yes. There we go, that's better. that off please I love the way they jump up in the air when they're dead right get behind the rat queen queen king On the mend. you must have something you can hit it with Yeah, let's put you in there. Only one attack. Oh, look at that. Solve the rat infestation and offer those villagers a bit of respite from the hunt. Oh, there we have it. That's the Into hunt the completed. All right, where are you? Let's get back to your main Sweet screen. Relief. Uh, we've got one heal left. I might do it. Let's have a wait and see. No. 
There we go. Right, let's have a quick look who's got all these resurrect scrolls, shall we? Fifteen. Split. Sent to Scarlet. Right, we know that Medora's got some. Oh, I did have. Right, she needs some. to Medora and he's got one so let's take one of Scarlet's right that should sort out that little problem Let's see what goodies we got. Right, not, not touching that, not, uh, not touching that. New leather helmet. Water essence. Come on, get it. Treasure! Quick look at those. That's Medora, big style. I'll send it there, but he's not going to use it, I don't think. That's Medora. Oh, yes, please. That's Roderick. Switch that around. And that's all we need to identify again. Right, Medora, pick all this stuff up. Right, let's have a quick word with the um, the cat now. And we're struggling to walk there, aren't we? Or are we? No, 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 we're fine. Oh, hang on. That kingdom for a dry shirt. Don't touch the small bones, brother. It only makes it even more of this present later. Wargraf wants to speak. You've noticed that Woolgraf has been lingering by the dead body of the person you've just slain, watching his own reflection mirrored in blood. His face is set in a grim snarl, and his eyes are locked in a thousand-yard stare. There is a plunder. I know what you're thinking, but don't let it get you. Sometimes we must do unpleasant things, so at the end, righteousness won't prevail. Wolgraf nods. He seems to understand perfectly well this was not a normal situation, and he seems to take great comfort in your words. Okay. Now, please go back in here. Have we talked to this guy yet? Oh, of course, of course, it'll be for a moment. The old mother requires. Yes, yes, uh, right away, my good man. Oh, mother, you the dark skin will bring you the refreshment shortly. All the better. Thirst does so magnify one's craving. Go the finest part. Right, okay, he's just giving her a drink. What I need to do is check his house. Uh, 
Let's see if I've picked up the book yet, which I might have done, I can't remember. I'd prefer to drown my sorrows with ale. Went to the cellar. Uh, yeah, would appear we have picked it up. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Read. I already had it. Didn't realise. They still my heart. There we go. Alright, let's go and talk to the gentleman behind the bar. Herschel, is it? in town. What a pleasure to serve you. I've a deal running now. A double the whiskey for any and all who refrain from beating me from the neck up and the <laughs> crotch down. Tell me about yourself. Oh, I'm nobody at all. Just the old tavern keeper in this here village. Things have been uh, <clears throat> busy since the orcs came, but I, uh, I've never been one to complain too much. Well, especially with the... Uh, <clears throat> With my wife and kids gone, I prefer to keep my eye on the prize. Oh, whiskey, of course. No excruciatingly terrible memory, a nice glass of the good stuff can't wash away. <laughs> uh, what do you know about the orcs? Oh, swell, guys. Swollen as swell can be. I haven't a complaint in the world. Not in the wide world. Keep me busy, they do. Day and night. Night and day and day and night again. Oh, you might imagine me a wee bit utterly exhausted, but I wouldn't have it any other way. After all, the soul-crushing night terrors can't find you if you never sleep. <laughs> That's my motto. And what can you tell me about the village? Well, the scenery's certainly changed in recent weeks, I'll tell you that much. Used to be a quiet sort of place. Family folks, you know. Never had much trouble, and all the less because our little town played us to a sauce hunter and a powerful wizard both. Can't say why we were uh, <clears throat> overcome so quickly. Uh, can't say why so many of us were cut down over those shiny stones. An immaculate like you know better than me, I suppose. Yes, I suppose an immaculate just like you might have been the one who held my son's head back while Gratilda sliced his throat open. Eh? Oh, but who's got time to think on the past? That way lies danger, I say. I only know that these orcs are a thirsty lot. It's my job to keep my head down and the whiskey flowing. So you prefer whiskey, are you? That I am. But I'll tell you, I never served a lot quite like these Goliaths. They drink like elephants and pay like... Well, they don't pay at all. Then again, I can't say I mind this little arrangement too terribly. The happier they are, the longer I evade the rack and the screw. Each glass brings us closer to the last of the whiskey, though. My bowels shrink when I think what'll happen when we get to the bottom of the last barrel. We've already exhausted the tavern supply, but I've been pilfering from my old buddy Glen Stores. I doubt he'll mind, seeing as he was one of the first orcs sunk their claws into. Now, that was a man dedicated to fine liquor. <laughs> Knew all there was to know about distilling whiskey, he did. Oh, oh, what I'd give for a barrel of Glen's good stuff now. <laughs> These orcs wouldn't know what hit them. Okay, I'll just take my leave there, because we updated the log. Distill my heart. Uh, the barman in town on the is quickly running out of whiskey. Uh, the whiskey might make them less combat ready in the event of a fight, so we need to distill the whiskey then. Which we will head to go and do now, I think. Oh, 
Let me just check I didn't get any of this. I got the book and didn't realise, so maybe I've got the... Uh, maybe I picked up something else I didn't realise. Cause a lot of noise in this town. Alright. We need to head out to town very briefly. And while we're here, we can speak to the cat, because this is the area she's in, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. We can also do that while we're here. Warm as dragon's breath! Alright, there we go. We picked up the barley, I think. Oh, I'm drenched! Sack of barley. I'll go to Medora. Alright, where are you, cat? Ah, who? It's heating up. What a deluge! I don't need that bucket, I don't think. Oh, the cat's not here, so I'll we'll have to look for her in town. Alright, um... Alright, we need to go into here. Combine. That gives a sack of grist. We need to go to the well. They're keeping the peace for now. Chief's orders. That other tusk's yours to keep in the meantime. Get some water from the well. Y'all can't stand the thought of his old tribe getting ripped to sweats, can he? Poor fellow. And we need the sack of grist. Combined with the water, we'll see you end up beneath those boots. which gives us wart. Then we need to go back to Glenn's house. My kingdom put a dry shirt. Combine with that, which gives us spirit, I think. Where's it gone? Let's type, where is it? There it is, which gives us spirit. What's that say now? Now we need to find a way to age it. Now then, the way to age it... ...is to go to the end of time. Speak with Zigzags and let him do some time travelling with it, and he won't talk to you. <laughs> Good to see you on the shelter plane. A home away from home, is it not? Ah, uh, Zigzags, I must age this fresh spirit into fine so whiskey before you ask. It's for a good, for the good of Rivalon. Heavy is the hand that wields time. If you're very certain this sort of meddling is strictly necessary, I suppose I could oblige. No, it won't be difficult. I'll simply pop your little mixture into a deep, dark basement and revisit it, shall we say, 30 years in the future? 
There we go. What did I tell you? Now, be careful with this libation, will you? I had just the tiniest sip myself, and I must <laughs> say, it's quite potent. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll take my leave. That's that done. Tell me, my friend. Uh, Hunter's Edge, yes, please. Now, I don't want to give it to the bartender yet. Because that will make all the drugs or the orcs drunk. So we need to save that for when we're actually going to start the fight. What I want to do now is clear a few of these excess orcs, shall we say. Let's clear a few of those away. I don't want to do the main one yet, which starts the fight between the mountain men and the orcs. But we can get Grutilda to thin out the herd. What a deluge! What do you call it? I've got my eye on you. Enough. Don't talk to the small bones, brother. We don't need to eat them all this present later. Goodness. Is supper already upon us? I'd hope for something with considerably less gristle, but I suppose you'll do. Okay, you're the leader of the orcs, aren't you? A word that hardly suffices. I lead them as far as the head leads the body. They serve me and live in service to me. I am their all mother. The beginning and end of their very lives. I am loved by them. I am craved by them. I choose from among them he who pleases me, and I destroy the rest. The orcs of this tribe are executors of my will. No more. Okay, you're supposed to get the first pick of the spoils of war, yeah? Naturally. There are few finer pleasures than standing before the fruits of one's labor. A stack of gold and goods to one side and socking sinews and bone to the other. Ah, oh, divine. I've developed a particular affinity for tenebrium of late. The sheen of it rather pleases the eye. My boys know not to keep a shard of the stuff from me. Consider this your warning too. Okay, what do the orcs have a use of this miserable town? Miserable, you say? I quite like it. Save the altogether hideous pink apes infesting the place. But exterminating them was a rather titillating diversion, I must admit. The townsfolk here were no different from those in the north. The larger ones beg me to spare the smaller ones. The smaller ones bleat like lambs for the larger ones. Yet they each squeal just the same when you split their piggy skin from nose to navel. Yes, I dare say the wizard won't be so pleased with himself for evading us when he returns. His servants' entrails will be wreathed among his grapevines, and the rest of the villagers are already hacking away in the Tenebrium mines. Undead drones bent in service to the conduit. Ah, uh, who is this wizard you seek? Our conduit didn't describe every detail of her plan to her mold eyed pets in the mines. Well, no matter. It hardly concerns you, unless you can break the enchantments protecting his house. But that's a matter of magic, not the erotic virtues of your mother's rot rancid corpse. I doubt anyone from Silver Glen will be of use. Okay, there was his house protected by powerful magic, it seems. So it seems. But even the cleverest magician cannot conceal his tricks forever. The wizard may have fled, but he left a passel of servants behind. Servants I very much doubt will be immune to the charms of my screws and cleavers. Okay, let's discuss your orcs. Uh, I recently met an orc attempt attempted to sell me special sort of gear. Highly irregular, don't you think? Well, that depends very much, Welp. My boys are free to do what they will with the garbage left over after a massacre. But certain more valuable materials must be delivered to me. Tell me, were my boys selling something rare or unusual? Uh, yeah, he offered us gear made of tenebrium. That's right, he did. Quite the snake, isn't he, to hide it from you? I understand. 
Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Here we go, the first one. Once again, this episode might be uh, slightly longer than usual, and it might be slightly lacking in action. I know we killed the Rat King, but that's probably the only action we're going to get. So I intend to kill these, a, a few of these, by using Gratilda. It's heating up. Just the one coin for me. Did someone leave an oven door open? Three cards, three shiny ones. Oh, back to me. <laughs> I'm going to call it to my own. Now for the flood. <laughs> what is it that you so enjoy about I it? think you know full well, well how I'm bored. Seven of these. Let's get the ball rolling. Five coins. I'll call and raise you another five. Take it off. Come Call Eddie. Excuse me. Can I just check? Check. Let's see that last bloody card. Fine, fine. I'll check. Oop. What are you doing? Oh, okay, number one. Don't. Wow, it really is noisy here. <laughs> I could do with a cold drink. Right, let's go back and wait for her. Is supper already upon us? I'd hope for uh, did you know an Archie soldier has fallen in love with one of Jarl's tribesmen? One of my boys, in love with one of Jarl's. Perhaps the All Mother ought to investigate this matter personally. Nothing sets an orc on the straight and narrow like the humble ear of his sovereign and sworn mistress, after all. And our attitude is increasing towards her all the time, which is good. Right. Seems to be contemplating a torch by the fireplace. You realise it is a rather weird spot to place one. Yes, we know about that, Wolgraf. Sodden all the way to my boot soles. What is it that you so enjoy about death? Well, some say death. Just the one second What's that? Oh, that's Jinxer. Uh, right, okay, we'll grab her after. I say you're so stupid the key probably fell from your pocket while you were squatting over the latrine. You there, boy. Can it be true? You claim to love this human scum? Love, no, no, old mother. I only have eyes for y you, of, of course. Do not lie to your all mother, or she'll use your esophagus for a leg warmer. I, mother, it's just, I, I didn't mean to. I, I, I couldn't help it. So you admit to this affair? Yes, old mother. Then we have the truth. Very good. As for this transgression, I trust that in the last several months you realized your terrible error. Yes, old mother. Terrible errors, never to be repeated. And I suppose I can trust you never to so much as glance at this worm fleshed fool again? Yes, old mother, of course. As I thought, there now. Oh Lord, calm yourself. The All Mother cannot tolerate such loving things. Excuse me, I'm, I'm just overcome with your kindness. Thank you, Thank you. Okay. 
<laughs> Disgusting, traitorous filth. All right, well, we can talk to Jinxer again now. Before we go and talk to her again. Hello again. Do you bring good news? Uh, good news, I've killed the Rat King. Ding dong, the king is dead. And I thank you from tail to whiskers for your help. There may be hope for my friends yet. If you would, my friend, you could find them and help them escape now that those pointy-faced beasts won't be on the alert. Their hiding place is enchanted, you see. Crafted by the wizard himself to hide those he held dear. They've concealed themselves in a cellar outside their home, the hatch of which you'll find beneath a great black boulder. Once you've destroyed the boulder, search in the beehives behind the wizard's house for the key. Okay, okay, thank you. Log updated. Uh, that's done. Alright, right, back to Gratilda. Let's see if we can get somebody else in trouble. And by trouble, I mean dead. Freshen this. Of course, oh, mother, of course. Perhaps you haven't heard, whelp. Every time a foot soldier disturbs me, I take his head to compensate for my time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Discuss your orcs. My patience for his antics is wearing thin. Madness I can tolerate, but failure, not for a moment. And a mad one at that. I'll be all too happy to be rid of the crackpot. So, our rat catcher has overstayed his usefulness. How I do enjoy a problem with an exceedingly simple solution. Pardon? <laughs> this swill is hardly better than swamp water. So, here we go for the rat catcher's demise. I need to dry off. Don't talk to the small bones, brother. It only makes me even more less pleasant later. I'm serving the goddess. What do you call that? Let the lust die relaxed. that we may live. You've been at it. It's been too long, hasn't it, brother? Come along, Grutilda. Hurry up. Enjoying your time in this Even village, you know, kind of worthy scrap milling about senselessly. Rutilda doesn't like one of your thing, vermin. does she? We're waiting to fight the final battle. The time is nearly nigh. I but next to hard at work. They shall rest until the door is complete. And yet, here we are, boy. And not a single villager found. You eat of my food. And drink of my whiskey, what is it but you've so earned nothing. What do you call that? You dare to insinuate that I cannot! Enough, beast. You're useless. I have no business to say that we may live. You dare! Another one bites the dust. Ah, intolerable. Uh, Hunter's Edge. The rat catcher is dead. Okay, why is that not completed it? Maybe it will. We'll see. What are you doing lingering around here anyway? I think that might be as many as we can get killed at the moment. We'll, we'll try again. But we'll just check to see if we can get another one killed. I'm hoping that we can get the uh, guy that lost the key killed. Brave of you to disturb me, human. In your this is because the orc who lost the armory key. Unless you have proof that something has gone awry in the armory, I'll hardly bother with this matter. 
Okay, I'll take my leave. Damn it. Right, okay. Right, what do we need to do now? Uh, I suppose the next thing... Would be to do the uh, torture chamber. But I think that will be for next episode. Yes, I think we'll probably call it there for this one. We'll stick a little save in there. So we managed to get a few of the orcs killed. Gutilda has kindly done it for us. So that's thinned out the herd a little bit. Uh, we'll thin it about even more when we go down into the torture chamber and then we can start looking at the wizard's house and doing that. So for this episode, I think that is it, folks. Alright, thanks very much for watching. This is Ogre Science.